Okay, this is a tutorial on how to install and run Feed the Beast Horizons on horizonsmindyourmind.net. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is download the launcher. I'll provide the link below. In, you should find it below the YouTube video. Um, once you run it, it'll look like this. It'll also have this console, but you can kind of ignore the console. Um, you'll need to create a profile right here. You put in, instead of your username, put in your Minecraft email address and your Minecraft password and click add and that will, and then select that profile once you've done it. Um, if you, right over here you select horizons. Um, the current version is 2.01. That shows when you first load it up. I'll show you that a little bit later when, it, when it's loaded up. And you also want to edit the mod pack. And you want to add everything except for you don't want to add both mini maps. We'll add that, that, and that. And you can choose either mini map, but don't choose both. But you want everything enabled, otherwise, it won't work. Except for, like, as I said, you only need one mini map. Once you've done that, it's 2.01. You've edited the mod pack, you've selected Horizons, you've done your profile. Just click launch. Uh, let's see, we want to update it to 2.01. This is going to take just a minute. Um, it, I have a fairly fast connection, so this won't take forever, but it's going to take a, a minute or two to download the entire thing. This is pretty normal. It's going to take a little while to upload to. Um, Horizons, since I, we've got a minute, I'll just tell you Horizons is a mod pack. It has all kinds of mod packs in it. It has Tinker's Construct. It just has a huge list of mod packs. Actually, we could probably look at, no, we can't look at them while this is loading. It's, uh, let's see, public beta test version, pack designed to highlight a whole new series of incredible mods for Minecraft. It's, it's not the newest version. They now have the monster uh, version out now, but the thing I like about Horizons is that there's a few free servers that you can actually play on. People have actually designed communities where you could actually, uh, you know, you can multiplayer play instead of just single player, which makes it kind of neat. And, you know, I can stream with people on Twitch. You know, I can have my uh, viewers play with me on the uh, server for free. And it's a really neat server. Sometimes it's a little glitchy, but, you know, kind of expect that when you're doing crazy mods like that and stuff. Once it downloads, as you see, it's it has now downloaded. It will automatically start to load up uh, Horizons, or it'll actually load up a version of 1.64 Minecraft. You should see that pop up in just a second. It's probably doing some modifications and um, installing all of those mods. I think I believe there's like 155 mods in this pack, so it does all kinds of interesting things. Um, I know this is taking a little bit of time, but I want to show you the exact process of how I got this installed. I don't want to leave anything out and, you know, somebody goes, you know, what, did, what part? I didn't see that part in the video. Hopefully it's going to hurry up and look. Usually when the launcher disappears and just the console is up, that means it's about to load. There we go. <coughs> As you can see, um, I already have Sfax texture pack installed that's not required although you can install that I haven't made a tutorial on that uh, you can play this with or without that um, if you don't know how to install a texture pack let me know maybe in the comments maybe I'll um, do a tutorial on how to do that at a future time but for now let's just see if we can get this to load up and um, connect to the server it does take a minute to load up if you know sometimes people don't see that console running in the background and they think oh no it's frozen because if you click on this see it says not responding oh no it's frozen it's not working yes it is working if you look at that console you can see it's still loading texture packs and different uh you know odds into the into it and you just got to give it some time it has 155 mods so it takes a minute to load but trust me, it will eventually load, assuming that your computer can handle it. As you can see now, it has loaded. 
Um, if you go to the multiplayer, let's see here, presence, let's edit this and not sure why it's got that. Okay, let's go mine, mind dot net. Actually, it should be horizons. Your mind dot net. Refresh. Oh, okay. I see. It's the other server that. Okay. As you can see, it says update to version 2.01. So you, like I said, at the beginning, you saw that I set mine to 2.01. If this changes in the future, you'll want to set to that one. And it should log in, no problem. Once you've got it uh, set up correctly. It does take a minute to log in. It does have a lot of mods and stuff. And as you can see, we're in. I've uh, got got it running. And that's how you do it. Talk to you later.